hey hey hello welcome on my channel triple two tarot this is your girl tm and i'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you and today this pick a card reading is all about january 2022 your messages your predictions your relationships your career your soul uh, journey or wherever you are heading heading to um what is coming next in your life in all the matter of uh, your life or any matter of your life let's see so first of all happy new year everyone in advance and if you're watching in 2022 happy new year i really hope and pray for all people like your wishes and dreams come true in this year uh, you become more strong happy independent and successful in this year and also pray for me too and my family remember us also in your prayers uh, uh, as I always say, it's a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok and um, Instagram for daily updates and fun. So there's a three groups in, in front of you and choose intuitively what the item is calling you. Option number one with this beautiful sun, bright sun. Number two is this beautiful diamond stone, crystal stone. Number three is this beautiful gift box golden gift box so choose intuitively i'm going to meet you on your reading and let's start the reading i already shuffles the um you know oracle's card uh, but i'm going to definitely use tarot more here and maybe charm if we have a time so let's start the reading okay group number one the people who choose this beautiful um sun key ring so welcome on your reading let's um find out together what's happening for you in this month predictions messages or anything else let's see um so we have the soulmates the first card is the soulmates from this true love oracles card then we have the stock from linoma tech deck we have the turning in we have taking steps we have true love oh my god this love is going to be i think it, i should put it here uh, true love uh, soulmate keep moving we have a trust then we have opportunity there's a lot of moon here so either you could be a cancer pisces or scorpio especially pisces or cancer or these moons um, really, moon cycles really affect you. You could be a very moody person. Obviously, with your emotions, with your relationship. You could be right now in the month of January, especially on this uh, new moon that is uh, coming, upcoming new moon. I feel like definitely you are going to meet your soulmate or you are going to come into union with this person if you are dealing with this someone already. Are you going to put your intentions um, or meeting someone new? Now, let's see. We have the Uranus, Uranus, Uranus. We have a ninth house. So maybe you have a ninth house, um, Uranus. You could be Sagittarius or Aquarius or dealing with it. We have a helper. So this is talking about a career card. So you could work, you could be working in a, a, a helper in, in some type of a cafeteria, restaurants. I'm hearing Starbucks. Or maybe you will meet this person there, this person do this work there. Or if you are the worker, you are going to definitely in this month, you are going to avoid giving too much of yourself while neglecting your own needs. Consider careers in customer service or in any field you are able to care for others. Don't fear asking for help or accepting help if someone is willing to give you a hand. Yeah, there's definitely, you could be working in some type of a customer care. The next is Agaya. Spend time with nature to be healed, soothed and regrouped um protect the plant herbalism livestock or working with nature could be for you um livestock maybe something with the nature something with the religion so, you know, religion yeah uh it could be helping other people in this uh, spirituality because we also have a ninth house it could be talking about seeker you could be a guide you can help people you can the universe is working with you believe in um uh, in a subtle mag magnetism to guide you okay we have the passion from romance angel and we have a children involved. You could be single mother watching this video. Does not have to be. In your love life, maybe children involved here for some reason. And from this oracle, we have a children. Wow, really? Oh my God. Children coming up twice from two different decks. So there could be children involved here. For some of you, you could you could be giving birth to a baby next month, maybe. 
Yeah, because we have the moon, so you could be becoming a mother. Are you putting your intentions because we have the intentions taking step? So you're putting your intentions to become a mother. You want to be a mother. You're ready to be a mother. Interesting. Gaia is also a mother, right? Now, from this deck, we have the game of conquest. This new love will try hard to win your heart. Be certain it's not just a game. And the next is the opposite attract. Someone may enter your life who's very different from you. You will complement each other. So this could be a black and white couple. I'm getting you both will be totally opposite from each other. This person is definitely going to win your heart. I feel like you will be on the guard with the moon card here, especially if you are the single mother watching this video. Yeah, this person is definitely going to win your heart. This person could be living near the ocean or on the ocean or working on the ocean, I'm hearing. Something with the ocean here. This person could be a water sign like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so what I am getting for this month, a lot of you, this is 9th house talking about um, travel involved here. For some of you, you could be traveling. I don't know, it's like physical travel here. You could be going somewhere or this could be you. You are astro traveling, like uh, definitely connecting with the more spirituality because we have the Gaia. Connecting with your higher spirit, higher seeking, higher knowledge, wisdom. This is also talking about some type of... Um, you know, like higher education, you could be learning something, you could be putting yourself into some type of a course, or spiritual quest, okay, you could be trying to work with these people, some of you could be working in a journalism, uh, or you will be, this is also some type of risk taking, because I also have the Uranus here, so there's something that you're taking risk on your, uh, I don't know, something you're doing that out of uh, norms or usual, it's definitely unusual thing that you're doing, or you may be going into different place, like you never thought that you will be there. It's like definitely something, it's, it's out of your control, but it's, it's mean to happen. You're taking risk on this journey. You're taking risk on this, um, uh, maybe abroad or this country, wherever you are going. You may be taking risk on this um, course or study or education that you never thought you will do that, because, but you really want to do it. This could be psychiatrist or psychology, like you're going into something that you never thought before because you really want to help other people or you feel like helping others is definitely going to help you somehow. This is maybe your life purpose involved here or soul purpose. Helping others is going to help you evolve and change and bring revolution in your life and other people's life maybe. Some of you, you could be a travel guide, okay, or you will be. In the, you will apply in this type but there's something with the uranus here you're doing something different out of culture out of religion out of norms it's, it's definitely unusual different some of you this could be talking about yeah it's like dating this person maybe or being in a relationship with this person you never thought but are but you're taking risk for this relationship because you believe this is your soulmate or this is your, um, yeah, this is your soulmate. Like you are definitely complement each other. You're mean to be in each other's life because you have the soulmates and true love. So a lot of you, you already know them. So you may be coming into union. You could be taking risk for this connection. Uh, you are maybe traveling to this person's country. For some of you, I'm hearing Middle East or Morocco or could be in in... in India, Pakistan, or some type of Asian countries, especially Middle East I'm getting, uh, or I'm also getting Morocco. Somewhere there's a camel, is, camel is the definitely the, in their culture, in their tradition. Or you could be from this. You could be totally different from this person country, like you could be in a Europe, you could be in, 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 yeah. Totally different from this person. Could be in 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 USA. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. True love and soulmate. But uh, either you both are taking risk for this for this connection, or you are taking risk for this connection because you know that you could be going and settling uh, down with this person, living in this person country, leaving everything behind. Okay. Now, a lot of you, this is your true love. That either you know them already and you're coming into union and others of you you're meeting this person in this in january are you putting your intentions but i feel like you will meet this soul if you did not met them yet you will especially if you're single and you're not dating anyone so you will meet this person when you will take risk in this in your life and i don't know what this risk is about it's, it's education it's about settling down somewhere 
changing location, traveling somewhere for culture, maybe for, for your study, for your education. But this could be also doing something that you never did before. Um, yeah, this is definitely something here that you're going to do. Uh, and you will meet this person there. Something related with the children, job, chil related with the children, job, or children, um, helping children, working with children. We also have a helper and Gaia, so you definitely mean to help the other people, be in a service of other people, um, grounding your energy, something with me. Some of you, I'm getting like, you could be moving from city place to in a village, totally going into a different place to find your peace and settling your business somewhere else. Starting your own business, maybe also that you never thought that you will do because it's a taking step. So you are definitely taking step, taking intent. This is your intention. You're, you're going there. Some of you, you're going to build a house there. You're, you're going to build a home there. But I'm also getting like some type of a university, college, institute that you're going. Okay. And that's how you're going to meet your soulmate or you're, you're going to find your life purpose, your soul purpose there. Now, I'm also getting there's definitely opportunity is coming next month and you need to trust that. Trust your intuition because the moon is coming twice. This full moon, sorry, this new moon that is upcoming new moon definitely is going to bring opportunity of this opportunity is coming. I'm also feeling like this could be talking about maybe um, different country or culture or religion or state that you're going to, you need to take this opportunity. Whatever this is, it's education, it's job, it's course, it's study. Any matter that you're doing, you need to definitely go there. And this opportunity is come. Again, something with the ocean here, something with the water here. So either you are going to live near the ocean or near the water. So trust this opportunity, okay, and grab it. Trust your intuition, obviously. And some of you, this, this is that new love is coming in your life. So definitely trust your intuition. Give this person a chance. Because I'm getting turning in. So a lot of you, this is definitely whatever the answer you are seeking, this is in you. So trust your intuition. We have this talk. This is also talking about good news, communication. It's also about some type of, um, yeah, good news. You're going to hear a good news. This opportunity is coming. Trust that. Have faith. This could be good news coming from your children. If they live in a different country or abroad, or there could be some type of um, your children is getting studied or getting into some type of a school, institute, or college. There's definitely some type of a celebration here with the stock too. Either it's a union happening with your uh, true love soulmate. And others of you, this is something related with the, I don't know, I'm study, education. And also, there's a children involved here in your love life. Some of you, I feel like you both have children. So you're coming into union to bring this, like making family together. Or some of you, maybe... It's, it could be, it might be, uh, you know, like uh, unusual for some people because you could be a single mom or this person could be, but you're totally single or could be younger than this person. So people are definitely going to talk up and gossip about this connection, but who cares? You're taking risk for this connection, right? Some of you, this could be talking about um, working with children or animals and also uh, something related with the, with the nature. I'm also getting passion. So this connection, this month is also going to be very passionate. Yeah, I'm strongly feeling some of you, you are definitely putting your intentions to become a baby with your with your partner. So sex will be very good next month, especially with your partner. Uh, maybe you are going to meet and the father of your children or your, your divine counterpart and your intentions are definitely to be pregnant. Yeah, because there's a lot of passionate sex will be between you and this person. And you both are putting your intentions to create a baby. So this is a good news. Or this could be a sudden or unexpected uh, pregnancy because we have the Uranus. Something is definitely going to happen. Now the revolution here. You could be doing something revolutionary for some people. Some of you are here in Japan. So either something with the Japan here. I don't know. Japan, China, Korea. We have a lot of people are going to talk about it. There's a lot of gossip here. People are talking. And with the stock here too, I feel there's a chit chat here. A lot of people are talking. You need to, they're saying that you need to tune in yourself. Do not listen to other people's opinion. Trust your own intuition. And do what makes you happy. Because this opportunity will never come. You need to take the step toward this. Now let's see. We have the sun. 
yeah and in this deck the sun is definitely not a baby it's definitely something um grow up the baby grow up and we have the lovers wow interesting this reading is going to be a lover i don't know but we were definitely talking about general messages so we have the sun definitely talking about we also have the sun so something with the sun here you may be leo or dealing with the leo we also have a sagittarius aquarius a leo is happening and with the moon card uh, i strongly feel could be cancer pisces or scorpio you have a strong we have the sun card definitely happiness a lot of you you're meeting your soulmate your divine counterpart you're coming into union with this person but happiness is also like some type of celebration that you're going to something good news that is coming in your way clarity truth something um that news is coming that you're going to celebrate maybe you're selected in in some type of institute and you're going to taking step toward this sun is also soul and we have the lovers this is definitely a soulmate that you are going to meet okay you're bumping into so trust your intuition about this person this person could be living in a definitely i told you some type of an area that there's a village downtown of the city something like that so you will be definitely settled down there with this person so this is going to be a very huge and major important decision of your life whatever the decision that you're taking i'm seeing here but it's maybe de de deciding about your love it's that maybe deciding about maybe you have a choice between two lovers and you're going to decide who you want to be with and others of you this is talking about uh, about your sole purpose business partnership with someone and that will bring a lot of success in your life so this could be a success um you know like building some type of a partnership collaboration or work with someone that need uh, a risk that you need to do it but mostly this could be a talking about love romance and coming into union and maybe getting into relationship if you're single so you're finally meeting your soulmate finally you're finding your person or if you already met them you're finally taking step to them and you're settling down you're living together you may be getting in admission somewhere together so let's see if anything else came up yeah so we have the O could be letter here um, and we also have J, Joe and we have I believe so a lot of you you need to believe yourself we also have this pistol so something with the with uh, yeah killing your thoughts I'm hearing negative thoughts are killing those people that who will definitely bring will come in between you and this could be talking about um, something with the prison here jails prisons we also have a motor bike care scooter something like that we also have this butterfly so a lot of it's a transformation moon and star yes moon and star your wish is coming true some of you this person definitely from muslim country or culture or you could be from that place that will bring a um, lot of changes in your life you could be settling into a different country that is muslim or they have a this, this type of rich culture of muslim or something to do with their culture here i believe either this is a person or wherever you are going rich culture we have the the wheel here so finally things are turning in your favor new year new you i'm hearing you also have the boat yeah some of you traveling maybe on an ocean or this person is crossing the ocean for you or you are we have another butterfly definitely transformation we have the aeroplane so something with the ships aeroplane working on these things maybe or this person work i'm also getting this leaf here now so some of you this could be you could be from mexico or this person could be yeah we have this angel um little angel um angel here with the heart definitely some of you giving birth to a baby and we also have the uh, this crown so a lot of you this is talking about opening your crown chakra trust your intuition again we have some type of contracts happening either it's romantic or it could be a business i'm seeing definitely we also have and we, with the ring here definitely you like your wish is coming true we have a five of sword there's definitely negative thoughts here or people are gonna talk about it stop them we also have this rose here so a lot of you this is you you're becoming and embracing your beauty finally healing your soul find, finding your soul purpose are finally knowing what do you want this could be someone that who's seeing you as beautiful feminine energy or they're in love with you so i'm gonna see you later bye hey group number two if you choose this beautiful diamond shape crystal welcome on your reading let's see what's happening for you the next month 
let's see all these oracles card what that is saying we have a shivery someone is coming we have the purification we have the stillness it's reversed so something is a movement we have the swan we have the sunflower this could be the sign that you're watching um this person could be born into a horse year are there something with the horse here this person may be a rider yeah this is something romantic like either you know them or there's a movement here now let's see we have a mars action yes movement action neptune dreams interesting mars with the neptune interesting you could be dealing with the pisces aries or scorpio especially aries let's see we have the loss expect some financial turmoil in the near future so be careful there's some definite a job loss could make it difficult to keep control of your money you will have to work really hard to make ends meet yeah there's definitely either you're going to lose a job are you already lost a job so maybe from this new year it's like very difficult for you to manage your finances we have a risk yeah taking a calculated risk is sometimes necessary in order to advance especially in your work in your business in your um education there's a definitely risk involved here we have healed healing healed and healer healing energy surrounds you and this situation so you definitely a lot of you you're healing right now this could be you your purification like you're releasing someone you're definitely on the move with a stillness you're letting someone go you're starting your new year definitely with the new beginning with the new purifications intentions let's keep moving we have uh yeah the clover number two clover we have the source interesting the source then we have the loving man here you go i feel this is the definitely someone is coming and we have the vast universe and with the source and vast universe i feel a lot of you yeah some type of fated event happening for you the next month yeah i'm telling you i'm already feeling keep an open mind your soulmate may be different from your usual type and expectations chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here with this person and we can see that with the mars we have a past life oh my god oh um gee you will meet someone you have known in a past life someone from your soul group you could be <laughs> i love this this person could be taller than you thin and taller very sharp features um and you could be you know like uh in a height you know like um shorter than this person but you are older than this person are you look older interesting fast line someone is definitely taking a charge here something feels different about this love and you're not afraid to charge ahead hopefully this love will last okay there's definitely someone coming out i'm telling you someone is reaching out to you for ah uh, interesting let me grab this energy okay so there is something fated happening to you next month i'm not gonna lie or maybe next year is all about your fated events okay we have the vast universe and the source so if you are losing someone or something in your life or people are if spirit is definitely releasing some people or you're losing a job you're losing a places you're losing a home you're going some places okay and you if you uh, if if god is our universe is letting someone you know like release telling you that you need to let someone go so whatever is happening it's happening for a reason the first thing first okay because this is happening the source and vast universe they have a plan if they are doing something to you or you are losing something there's a plan so have faith and trust okay do not uh, think like that some of you you're going to lose a job and that is really benefit for you because i feel like maybe you have other purpose to do something else do something different either you already lose a job so don't be in this energy of wasting your money and you know and be reckless in your finances and spending all the money okay you need to take risk in the order of your work and career whatever you want to do i feel like your spirit has your back and telling you that you can do it but definitely take risk in the matter of finances and action okay with the mars 
some of you this 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 matters involved with some type of fighting maybe that's why you just lost the job or you will lose a job some some type of maybe some type of a conflict and fight that you're going to lose it some type of a battles that you're going to lose it uh, lose it maybe especially it could be a case like court cases okay uh, with someone okay that legal matters involved here some of you this could be talking about custody of the child or like some type of that you're going to lose it but don't lose it it's okay take risk on things and if something is happening it's, it's a reason here some of you i'm getting with the merge and loss here there could be a breakup here with someone that you need to let go of that toxic person either it's it's your classmate your friends your romantic partner or platonic you need to release this person and i feel this person is a merge person like they are aries or scorpio or whoever this person is they're a fire sign like they this person is bringing nothing but pain and loss in your life and you know it you know it that this person is draining your energy it's time to let them go some of you uh, and with the loss and neptune energy i feel like some of your dreams or your fantasy is also going to break down next month because it's needed here again source is doing it universe is doing it because we can't live in the fantasy and la la land sometime universe put us in this type of situations that we don't want to be but at the end we will understand that why we were there either we will learn it or we will burn it so it's up to you be careful take risk on the matters of your maybe relationships also or take risk on the relation uh, of your career taking actions it's really needed it's very important um yeah i'm seeing definitely some type of a purification some of you maybe you lost someone you you're still in the loss of that thing you need to purif purify it and release those things and stop being in this stillness like oh my god i lost the job i lost my thing i lost my partner i lost my ex no if this is a time to release this and enter in a new year with the new beginnings if you really want change in your life if you don't want to change you will still there and don't complain on then channels or come out or like nothing is coming through because you are still in that energy you need to do it you need to shake up your energy you need to definitely do something different think positively think something different change your attitude change, do something take action because at the end of the day our we create our destiny if you want to live in the neptune or dreamy la 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 land it's up to you but i also feel like this is the month that you're going to take risk on your dreams look at this we have a risk neptune and action dreams your actions for a lot of you you're going to take actions on your dreams you're going to definitely manifest it. I feel like this is the opportunity. You need to take a risk. And this opportunity will be in front of you to create this dream into reality. Bring this dream into action and do it. You will see it. Some of you, this could be talking about romantic partner. Because I'm getting with the merge and dream. This is your romantic partner. Like you have a dream about this person or you may be already dreaming about it. So it will like a fantasy for you. You will be like, wow, really? It's happening? This person want to date me? Really? This person want to marry me? Really? Or this person came back? Really? If this is your dream, like someone could be coming back from your past, could be possibility for some of you because we have a past life. But I feel mostly this is someone that is, is, is someone from your past life, if you believe in past life. Because when you will see this person, you will be like, really? We can be together? Because I feel in the past life, you also get married to this person. So this person will blow your mind. You will, you will not know. I don't think so. You will have a time to think about this, this opportunity or this chance or this relationship. Take risk on this and go for it and make this dream into reality. This all depend on you. I'm telling you for this group number two. Something is coming. It's like your dream come true. Either it's romantic partner, either it's a dream job or are chasing after your dreams, goals, desires. Go for it. This is the time, month. That you're going to put your intentions into. I'm also feeling let something go. Because I feel purification and stillness. This is you maybe self-sabotaging. Your connection. Self-sabotaging your life. Overthinking. Overanalyzing a lot of things. But you can do it. This is not the time to be still. And think about it. Purification. Maybe this is your own negative thoughts coming in, in, in your way. Standing in the way. To take the risk of the matter of the work, the career, success. You want to go some places. You want to do something. But you're holding back. No, they're saying take action. Take risk. The next month is all about taking risk. I don't know. Maybe your Mars and Neptune, especially in your personal birth chart, is happening somewhere. That you need to do it. 
this these two cards these two planets together with the mars and neptune i feel it's like making your dreams into reality take action and you will see the opportunity if you're not going to grab it oh my god you're gonna lose it forever you need to take the risk okay i'm also getting with this heal and healing heal and heal maybe universe is preparing you that purified and heal yourself from the past relationship or the losses that you lost in the past you also need to heal from the past it's time do not compare your new year or new things and new beginnings with the past matters this is a new year new month new beginnings and new you we also have the clover there's a definitely luck on your side here something definite and we have this when i see the clover and this white thing is definitely talking about something spiritual happening too something is like a behind the scenes like god is preparing you spirit is doing something for you source is doing something and you will feel it when this thing happen or this accident this incident or this meeting or whatever is happening you will feel it like this is something god this is something fated this is something out of your control but it it is going to bring good luck in your life either this is a person who is coming that gonna help you to your career or bring some type of a good luck and success in your life or you may be reaching out to someone like a healer or psychic to take action about this like what should i do but there's definitely some type of a balance here with the number two it's a balance it's 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 the union um with your lover with your soulmate with your romantic partner your dream partner i would say because we have the neptune and a mars this is like a dream like you will not believe it but this is a luck on your side group number two are you ready for this i'm excited okay so with this clover here there's definitely um could be some type of a luck here that will help you to achieve your goals and dreams some type of a action success this is like a very heated energy that you are you it's like willpower it is going to test your willpower like if you are going to be abundant and take action on this or not take risk on this or not and uh, we have this chivalry and the man the loving man now a lot of you if you're a woman watching this definitely this is talking about a man is entering in your life and even though if you're interested in a man or if you're a man does not have to be yes but we have the loving man and the man chivalry this is definitely someone who want to date you i will ask you out for a date i'm hearing this person want to meet you and you don't have any option but take the risk and go and meet this person i don't know there's something about this person that you need to meet you need to see them you need to take the risk on this person whoever this person is look at this the loving man and chivalry this person is going to shiver you they want to treat you i'm i'm feeling this person is going to bring flowers for you this person has romantic intentions and feelings you maybe have a two people coming your way so you have a choice between two people maybe but if it's not then definitely i'm strongly feeling again something with the tall hair this person could be taller than you or taller yeah this person has a very loving intentions they want to date you they want to meet you and once this person is going to take action towards you with a mars or maybe there's something that you will see about dream about this person or spirit is forcing you to take action towards this person go and take a risk because you never know that the other person is also waiting for you yeah for some of you it's your crush or is 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 someone that you already know yeah now we have the past life and fast line yeah definitely i feel like this love is coming with the like we're happening very fast with the mars and risk here like this person going to take charge taking action again something with the hearts here or rider this person want to meet you this person want to see you maybe they are also going to take action very soon we also have this past life a lot of you this is someone your past life person coming or from this lifetime if you know them so you're coming into union with this person they're going to take action they finally want to meet you so keep an open mind because this person is definitely to totally different from you they want to get to know you i'm hearing because they feel this hot chemistry with you passionate attraction with the mars here there's a lot of attraction here physical attraction i would say some of you this could be you falling in love with this person you're bumping into this person and it's just happening from nowhere and others of you you know them it's like a dream come true i don't know why i'm getting saying again and again it's it's your dream finally your dream is in front of you take risk yeah we have the moon yeah this is your fears i'm telling you your fears your own fears your own mind um your self sabotaging uh, energy you you're not you you your self esteem issue you're like uh is stopping you you will also see this person in your dreams 
Yeah, you see that. You already see this person, seeing this person in your dreams. Or you will see them in your dreams. This is that person I'm talking about. Yeah, we have a moon and Neptune. It's very um, a fantasy. It's very dreamy. It's very psychic. It's very intuitive. But you know this person is coming. This is like a blast from the past life. You both are seeing each other, uh, dreams about each other. Whoever this person is. You're about to meet this person. Or if you already know them, definitely this person is in your dreams. So they're going to take action next month. Yeah, either you could be Cancer, Pisces, or they could be Scorpio. This is also like Pisces and Aries couple, or Pisces and Scorpio couple. Pisces are Cancer, but Pisces is there. Very strong Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. You both could be water sign too. But this is a merge, like something like you're falling in love. It is like a dream type of a love, falling in love. This could be a secret of love with this Neptune and Moon. There's a lot of fantasy, dreams, secrets. Very sexy love, um, but secretive maybe. And for others of you, this is, um, you're on, like you're, you're hiding it. This was a deception and finally this person is going to take action. They're going to tell you the truth. Yeah, Knight of Cups, it's coming. But in this deck, especially the Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups is like this coming. This person is drinking the water. Yeah, this is definitely a person thinking about to send you, oh my God, this person is ready to take action, to take the charge. Now, whoever this person is coming, they're very, very attractive to you. Very, very attractive to you. Very drawn to you on a physical level, emotional. They feel like you both are a definitely perfect match for each other. So they want to get to know you, by the way. There could be other person involved here or some of you. Knight of Cups is very romantic pile, by the way. And others of you, this is you with the moon card and Knight of Cups chasing your dreams. But your own fears, your own mind is coming between in your mind like it is stopping you to do something to take action or to follow your dreams there's also some type of i feel like you need to take care of your health especially mental health you need to love yourself more from the next uh, year or next month it's very important some of you i'm hearing that your mother is going to reach out to you are you gonna suddenly visit your mother um because of their health issue you may be going back to your motherland or homeland, something I'm hearing. Now, let's see. Something with the mother here. S-O. This could be a letter of this person or yours. Something with the S-O. We have C. So, maybe this person is a CEO or something. Yeah. Oh, my God. This person is a CEO. Definitely on a higher position. We have the heart, definitely something romantic is coming, but you can see that it's a line and then it's a stop here. So definitely, there's a definitely lot of, um, you could be from different places. Again, with this bird and with this nest, there's definitely message or communication is coming. This is like a good news. Uh, I'm hearing someone is going to propose you. It's a sudden unexpected proposal. And uh, this could be a commitment. This could be some type of a contract that you're signing. Yeah, we have the love again. So this is definitely someone who's coming with the love. A lot of love here. We have the key. So you have the key to this person's heart or to key to open this relationship. Everything is in your hand. We have the car. So maybe this person is going to drive drive to drive to car to see you and meet you. Yeah, we have the Taurus. This person has a sun, moon, rising anywhere in Taurus. Some of you, this could be you are opening to abundance and materialistic life with the Taurus. Success here, sexuality, sensuality. We also have a four of swords. There's also a lot of healing requ required here. Yeah, we have the moon and star. Some of you, you could be Muslim or this person could be Muslim. Moon and star is also talking about compatible with each other. Are your wishes or dreams are coming true? Pay attention to your dreams pile number two. We have a unicorn. Yes, yeah, something magical happening for you the next month. Something fated, something magical, something in front of you. And you'll be like, what? It's been a long time. I feel like this dream has finally in front of you. Or this person will be in front of you. And you will be awe of it. Your mouth will be open. Your jaw drop. Something with a jaw drop, I'm hearing. Or maybe you're getting some type of a celebration or a position of CEO or promotion. Something is definitely going to be unexpected, shocking, but in a good way magical fated so prepare yourself hey group number three the people who choose uh, the gift box golden gift box let's see what's happening in your life next month we have the reparenting yourself 
So a lot of you, this is talking about healing your inner child, reparenting yourself. Finally, you are prepared, ready. We have the community. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies, rainbow. We have a unicorn, gateway. Interesting. You could be from Rainbow Tribe. We have the Venus, love. I love this. We have a Virgo. So you maybe have a Venus in Virgo. Uh, maybe Taurus, Virgo, or uh, Libra that you're connecting with coming your way or you're dealing with them already. We have a denial. We also have a teacher. So some of you, you could be becoming a teacher from next month. And others of you, you're still in denial of your life purpose, your soul purpose. You're having a difficult time to figure it out. What do you want to be? Your life purpose is our soul purpose is definitely involved being a teacher to guide other people, something with the health, something with the artistic qualities, entertainment, something to do with the herb, spirituality, children, kids, parents, nature, something with that maybe. We have assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. So there is something that you need to be assertive next month and say yes. Do not deny this situation or this person or anything that is coming in your way. Be assertive. They're saying take charge. We have the house, number four, another four. So talking about home, family. We have a healing. Yeah, a lot of you, this is you. You're healing your family, mother, trauma, your issues. Some of you, you're healing your family wounds. Generational wounds, I'm hearing. Interesting. So we have the great achievement. There's some type of events that you're attending next month. That is going to be um, something with the home here. It could be someone is getting married, engagement, some type of a formal event in your family. Like a new year, dinner, lunch. Or your families are reuniting there. This could be talking about someone is going to invite you on some type of like they will invite you in their home. So definitely go there. Do not be like, no, I don't want to. Go. Have fun there. Enjoy, okay? Maybe you will definitely meet some type of situation here. You, we have the, your higher self. So I feel like your spirit is definitely guiding you. Then do and go there. We have finances and career. Deception. From this, we have twin flame. Oh, please. We don't gonna be there. Okay. You will soon meet your twin flame and maybe... Uh, it may be filled with challenges until you merge and balance your energies. So a lot of you, I don't know. Okay, so you already maybe met your twin flame. Or you already know them. Some of you, you're meeting them next month. But I feel mostly, most, most of you, you already know them and your twin flame is reaching out to you next month. We have the common law union. It's talking about, you may have a, yeah. Okay, you may have a live in a relationship that is bound by love without the matrimonial rules. Matrimonial rule. What is it called? Matrimonial rules. Yeah. Okay, so you are living in with this person home. Yeah, look at this. With the home. So this person, your twin flame, or I would say your soulmate, twin flame, divine counterpart, your opposite, whatever you want to call, is going to invite you to live with them in their home. And you will live together without even any rules. Like, like you know, people just without commitment, without marriage. If you are in this type of thing, then yes, it's like you're going to build a home together. You're going to live in this person's home. Yeah, I feel like your twin flame want this. You're coming into union with this person. I don't know. It's, it's, it's definitely for specific for some of you. Like your person is going to invite you. Like, let's be together, live in together. You're definitely going to live into, in this person's home. But others of you, this is like, um, they will tell you like, like I am not into this thing. So they maybe don't believe on marriage or relationships, commitment. So it's up to you, honey. Maybe they're too focused on their finances and career. There's something happening here that is not good. We have the, the higher, your higher self. Okay, I feel like. Your higher self wants you to listen to your intuition and be assertive. Say yes only if you can do it. Now why? What, now I understand what this is mean. So maybe you will say yes to this person like, okay, 
we can uh, because you're my twin flame because we are soulmate we are we are higher level of partner divine counterpart masculine feminine we love each other so much we have a lot of passion and desire yin and yang then why not so you may be decided and say yes to this person like okay live in together but when you will go there you will face a lot of challenges there's a lot of deception here maybe you don't know this person's true intentions or maybe you don't know this person's living style it's like you need to reparent yourself to live in this and set into this person community or to live in this person um exist in this person world or manage and balance yourself in this person world so that's why maybe they're saying that be assertive say yes only if you can do it but if you can't do it then you will be in a denial like you can't change someone right but there is definitely a lot of things required there i feel there's a lot of healing required here there's a lot of change that you need to do and go through in order to be in a union with this person it's not easy i'm also seeing with the venus here so a lot of you you may be going to do this you are going to be okay because it's all about the matter is for you is the love with the home and venus finally you will feel like coming home together living together you you don't care about people you don't care about other people's opinion you don't care because you only care for love and this person this home yeah your higher self is definitely bringing this person into your life there's a lot of with this i feel like heart this is talking about um rust quartz okay and we have the angel wings so there's a lot of love here from next month that is entering in your life or i feel like they're telling you that you will meet if you did not match your twin flame yet they're saying that be assertive and heal yourself because the more you will heal you or come near into your life i'm seeing here okay they're telling you something yeah the more you will heal yourself the more the, your soulmate your twin flame will uh, near to you or enter in your life if you did not met them yet for some of you you could be in a denial of this connection even though you know that this is your twin flame this is your soulmate this is the love of your life but you are in a denial or this person is in a denial some of you one of you is were in a denial or is in a denial but this month is bringing you guys together there's also some type of a success here that you're going to celebrate from next month could be a promotion could be a some type of event happening i told you like formal a dinner formal meeting some type of also business partnership that will bring um you know success in your life i'm getting some of you becoming a teacher healer and if you're into this type of um you know like you could be starting something from your home okay like some type of a business from your home your finances and career this next month is also all focused on your finances and career some of you i'm getting like your health you're going to definitely take care of your health and maybe if you are taking care of your mother your child so, so so from new year new from next month definitely your all intentions are to taking care of your own mental health your inner child your own child or your mother healing you definitely don't want to avoid it anymore because you know that you need to put the work in order to bring this union with your twin flame or in order to bring just just to healing in your life connecting with the spirit more there is a deception here i feel someone is going to express something they were in a denial they were deceptive and they're not going to be anymore because i'm picking up with the venus they're going to express the love especially yeah a lot of you you're meeting your the love of your life with the venus and if you already know them you're coming into union with this person especially with your twin flame this person is also going to ask you to live with them but be careful because we have the virgo and the deception this person has a dev and and the finances and career i feel this person is too focused on their career so i don't think so they are going to give you the time or maybe there's something happening uh in an office like this person could have already someone else in their work field and you you don't know it maybe about it maybe this person is definitely dating already someone in their workplace and they're hiding it from you there's some type of a truth will come out next month for a lot of you about love about romance about relationships we have a community and gateway so a lot of you yeah um i told you like either this person's this community is going to talk about you or you're going to talk about this person there's definitely either this is like a different community different culture so you definitely have a lot of ad adjustments requires to adjust in this person life or set into this person community 
Some of you, this is talking about you could be doing some type of a charity work from next month or working with some type of a community work or organization related with the mental health, fitness, job, like herbs, crystals, you know, healing with the inner child, spirituality. We also have a gateway. So a lot of opportunities are coming next month in your work and job. There's also a lot of new opportunities are opening too for romance or working with the community, working with other people. This is also like a unicorn here. So something magical happening next month because we have the rainbow and butterfly. Something is going to transform your reputation, your career, your, your image, or whatever this love is bringing. It's definitely going to bring a lot of um, like a magical things in your life. Transformation in your life with this love. Let's see more. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you, you're going to live with this person without even any rules. So maybe this happened in this person um, community. So something with the adjustments here. I don't know. I'm picking up. We have the death. And we have the temperance. Yes, transformation. Definitely transformation. Page of Swords and Judgment too. So someone is coming from the past. This is your soulmate. This is your twin flame. You already know them. If you don't know them, you are going to meet them. This person, yeah, Judgment and Page of Swords. This person going to communicate with you. Your soulmate is entering in your life, your twin flame. Or you know them already. I told you, you know them, but you they're going to communicate with you. It's a reunion happening. You're, you're going to talk. You're going to communicate with each other. With the death card, it could be Scorpio and we have this temperance. Could be Sagittarius. Yeah, it's a two major arcana. Something big and huge happening for you next month. And again, with the death is a transformation. And we know that gateway and community is again some type of a reparenting yourself. It's, it's maybe this person is leaving something behind for you and they're coming into your homeland or city or some country. They're, they're, are you are changing location for this person. You, you're going to leave the country. You're going to leave some places. You're going to admit it. Yes. So again, they're saying be assertive. Say yes only when you can do it, when you're ready. But I feel like this is a transformation in your life. Some of you, this is about your own healing journey, your soul journey. You could be going somewhere in a different place to doing some community work or business work or partnership. Okay. And others of you, this is talking about health. You're not, you're taking health, you're seriously from next month. Healing your inner child. If you lost someone, you're going to heal them. They're also around you, I'm feeling. Your past, your deceased one, they're with you. They're guiding you. They're definitely, your spirit is also guiding you. Spirit is with you. There's definitely some type of, with the temperance and death, it's transformation, healing, reunion, reconciliation with someone. And this person is your soulmate. You have a soul, soul connection with this person. Are you meeting your soulmate? Let's say like this. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm hearing New Zealand and S, South, North. So you totally in a different places. South, North, S, N could be important. We have an I. Nice, I'm hearing. Nine. Namaste. So some of you, this person could be from India or you could be. We have this um, little uh, Barbie, this, this um, mermaid, sorry. So either this person is going to see you as this mermaid, very cute. Or this person has a baby. We have the guitar, something related with the music here. We have a, a star, so this person could be Christian. If it's not, then definitely there is an age gap. There is a definitely spiritual beliefs. You have a different background, again, different culture, different religion. We have the key. You have the key to this person's heart, moon and star. Some of you, it's a Christian and Muslim relationship, a Christian or Hindu, Hindu or Muslim type of relationship. We have the dragon, so this person could be in a bar into a dragon year of Chinese. Yeah, this person has a lot of passion and desire for you. Um, we have this uh, broken ring, so I feel like some of you, you maybe thought it's a broken, uh, it's like broken relationship or the ring is broken. No, but they're coming. We have a forever. It's not going to ever. I feel like this is your past life soulmate, past life twin flame. Yes. We also have the wheel. Finally, things are turning. Things are finally, I'm hearing, forever going to change. We have this cap. So this person maybe wears the caps a lot. Something with a sportsman. We have a joker. Yeah, this is like a new beginning because we have the another major arcana that is talking about fool. 
this person is taking a risk on this connection yeah they 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 are oh my god some of you this person is going to fly you're going to fly in this person country or they are coming they're just in, announcing like i'm coming i want to see you i want to meet you and are you are going there we have this um mushroom here so this shell yeah this person is hiding it and they were not prepared it did but it's it is going to happen unexpected and sudden we also have the cupid's arrow so yeah a lot of you this is like you are meeting new person you're falling in love or someone is falling in love with you or they're going to tell you and others of you this is love this is a matter of love that's why you both are choosing love over your religion culture or i don't know yes this, this is your reading god bless you all gonna see you later bye